Hey guys, Do It On A Dime here. It's Friday. Normally, I like to do vlogs on Saturday because I have a lot of extra time, but I'm on vacation today, so I don't have to work, which is really nice. So I thought I would take you guys along today um, on some errands, doing some stuff. I had to meet with my friend at um, 1.30 at Starbucks, and um, it's for her birthday, so I'm going to give her a little something here. I'll show you guys what I'm going to give her. Um, I got my card here. It's just um, from the Dollar Tree, but it's cute. Burn the candle at both ends, blow your own horn, dance all night, and play both ends against the middle. What does that even mean? I don't know what this card means. And tomorrow you'll have a burnt wig, tooted horn, and aching feet, and tired ends. But wow, you'll have a happy birthday. And play both ends against the middle? What does that mean? Can someone tell me what that means? I don't know what that means. Oh, goodness. Okay. Anyway, so this is what I'm getting her. Um, just like a little watering can from this. Um, this actually, a gift was given to me in um, like a, a little while ago. So I'm like re-gifting the watering can. It's got some little sunflowers in it and then some lotion. This one is um, body lotion. It's like a sunflower scent. It smells really good. Um, thought it was good for spring, summer, and then this is a body mess in the same scent. So she's turning 40, which is a pretty big one. She had a birthday party, but my husband and I were sick, so we couldn't. End up, we didn't go. Um, so we're kind of meeting up to make up for that. I want to show you guys my rose bush. It's so pretty. Everything's finally starting to bloom. It smells so good. It's gonna be hot today, I think. What are you doing? I was looking over into the garden. Oh yeah, we're gonna make a vegetable garden here eventually one day. Probably get on that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so look at this gum. I got this at my grocery store, like in the clearance bin. It's dried spark and it has vitamin B6 and vitamin B12. I'm chewing it right now. I think it's pretty good. Do you want to try it? Yeah, sure. Okay. Ah, there you go. A lot of pressure. <laughs> Good. Oh, it's good, isn't it? It's like very fruity tasting. Okay, so here's what's on the agenda. We are going to Michael's to get a frame for my degree, and then um, we're also going to go to are we Lowe's. A custom frame? No, uh, -uh. Okay, it's a really, good. it's well. Okay, first of all, it's a really weird shape because it's from Spain. Because I think I've said this in previous videos. Um, I got my master's in Spain. Um, and it's like the paper that they use there is different like if even just like their daily paper it's it's almost like legal size i think it's called a4 but anyway none of the paper from there ever fits in like a normal folder like well what we consider normal here um, and then the paper that they print their diplomas and degrees on is like huge so like the standard frame for the u.s doesn't necessarily fit there so i have to look for a really big frame i think it's like I want to say 8 by 15, but I'll look at it and get more or less of a guess of how it's going to be. But I can cut, trim it down a little bit. Um, so anyway, we're going to go to Michael's for that. Why? Because we have coupons. And then um, we're going to go to um, Lowe's and get paint. And honestly, I'm not that big of a fan of paint from Lowe's. I like bear paint a little better than Lowe's. But we did our master bedroom in Lowe's paint. And that means that we want to have the same color for our master bathroom. Plus, we have a coupon, here it is, for $10 off $50 per just. So I can get, like, another brush and some um, rollers and stuff like that. So that's the plan. That's the plan. This is our little downtown. So cute. There's a farmer's market on Saturdays. It opened, yeah, it opened, it opened the last, 7th. Yeah, it opened last, last week. week. It's really nice here, though. And then we have all these cute little downtown shops. I love it. It makes me happy. We're at Michael's. I'm like beelining great for the clearance. 79 cents for eggs. I'm totally picking some of these up. So these frames are 40% off. I'm wondering if I can use these for my degree. Can you like this one? in there. It'll be a good deal. Okay, so I just got out of Michael's. We're on our way to Lowe's. I'm going to put these coupons here. I'm going to show you what I got quick while we're driving. Um, 
I got this really cute scrapbook paper. It's like a paisley design. And this was only 14 cents. Um, they're having a, like a really good sale. And I'm gonna, I'll show you that when I get home. I'm gonna use this to cover um, our address book that I keep on my desk because I don't like the pattern and this is really cute. And then I did end up getting the frame. Um, these were 40% off plus my 20% off coupon. So I'm hoping if I take out the mat, this is gonna like fit my degree perfectly. So it will look good on the wall. And then I got some boxes. They're memory boxes. Um, and I told Charlie what I got. And what did you say, Charlie? So, so basically, they're just more expensive than regular boxes. <laughs> basically. But no, these were really a pretty good deal. I'm going to use them to put like um, like mementos and cards and stuff in, you know, like, and for our eventual kids or whatnot. They were only $3. So I picked up four. And I got two white ones and two black ones. Wow. Those is hopping. All the flowers, guy loading stuff. All right, let's go get some paint. So we're just leaving Lowe's now. Got all the stuff. Got my rollers. Got a gallon of paint. Um, and I ended up getting a shower curtain there too because um, we had the coupon and then the shower curtain that we have in the bathroom right now wouldn't look good at all with... Um, our like new color it would like really clash actually so I ended up just getting this pretty white one it's by Alan Roth I'll show you guys that and then um look at me go <laughs> I ended up getting these too these are just like um shower hooks for the bathroom so yeah I'll show you guys the final project and yay we get to paint Charlie aren't you so excited and since we just spent our week on vacation, we literally have no food at our house. I mean, we do, but it's all in the freezer. We'll have to show you guys um, where we're going to eat. It's a new Japanese restaurant that opened up near us. Um, the grand opening, I think, was yes, two days ago. Yeah. So um, we're going to check it out. So we're pulling up at the restaurant, Toyoma Express Japanese. Oh, look, they still have their grand opening sign up. Cool. Oh, it looks kind of busy, actually. Sweet. So yummy. I got teriyaki chicken and broccoli and carrots and then some sort of sauce. It was only $5.69, which I feel like is a pretty good deal. Yeah, you know? it came out really quickly too. Yeah, it was, it was like 30 seconds. I got like hibachi chicken and mushrooms with some mm -hmm. carrots and rice and we'll let you know how it tastes. Yeah. The food was awesome. Was really I was good. so impressed. Whoa, it's like slipping on me. <laughs> I was so impressed. It was really delicious, mm -hmm. really yummy, and I had some vegetables in it too, so it wasn't yep. all bad for you. Well, to be fair, the vegetables were very, very buttery. It was like a very rich buttery taste. It almost tastes like caramelized. Yeah, almost. it totally was. It was like sugar and butter and numminess. It was good, very good. and we still have leftovers too. See what Luna's doing, Luna. Yeah, you see couch. <gasps> Whenever my dog is happy to see you and she hasn't seen you in a while, she'll sneeze and she'll like smile. It's really funny. Let's see if she'll do it. You have to talk to her in the high pitch voice. Sorry, guys. have a dog that smiles. She's the only dog we've ever had that like is so smiley. So here's the paper and Luna um, that I said I was gonna use for this. This is the book. It's um, a dress book and I just I mean I like the address book. I put all my dresses in here but I'm not a huge fan of the cover. So what I'm gonna do is just lay this paper flat and open up the book and just like back when you were in better. Back when you were in school and you used to cover your books for school, I'm going to do the same thing and um, cover this up so it looks nice. So we're going to grab um, 
a bite to eat and just have a drink and catch up. Um, it's been too long since we've talked. I don't know about you guys, but I am so bad at keeping in touch with people. Even people who are really close, like close as in like physically close, like our proximity is close. I have a hard time, um, you know, making a priority to see everybody. Like I can think of like three friends in particular that, um, you know, it's not by any choice of our own, but we've just had such a hard time like finding a time when we could all meet to get together. Um, and it stinks. It sucks. Um, I wish that it was easier in that way, but everybody's always so busy and you know, that type of stuff. So anyway, we're catching up and I'm really excited about it. Um, it's been a long time, like I said, since I've seen her. Um, and then after we catch up, um, I'm going to come home and I'm going to do all the coupons and then I'm going to go to the grocery store. Um, we also have to finish organizing some stuff. Um, we decided this weekend, we're like, since I'm on break, we're like, we're going to do all of our files. We're going to redo everything and, um, make our file cabinet better. <laughs> and it has been such a chore. Like literally cleaning out all your files takes forever. I don't know if you've ever done it or like gone through. It's a, I mean, we have a really good system down now and I feel like it's really organized. It's, um, freedom filer and I'll show you guys like the end result and like before and after and all that stuff. But it has seriously taken so long, like going through each paper and saying, do we need this? Do we not need this? And the good thing is, is that it will never build up like this again with this new filing system. I don't know what your files look like, but mine were like bulging out of the pockets, like craziness. Oh my gosh, I'm really hot. So it was kind of good to, to purge it and go through and know that this new system won't let it build up like that again, but it is a lot of work. And my husband's office is basically a big giant mess and a half. Hey guys, so I'm back from going to Starbucks with my friend and I'm about to start a painting project in our master bath. So I'm going to quick show it to you guys and then I can kind of show you how the progress is going by the end of this vlogging day. So... There's you, <laughs> and here's the sink top. Let's see if I can back out so you guys can see. Towel rack I've showed in a previous video, bathtub looking kind of blah. Our rack, which I need to go through and like reorganize. Thing, toilet, magazine. Towels, which I wanna label his and her and floor and that's it and the color that I'm going with let me show you guys quickly please excuse the luggage we just got back from our trip is this one wait it's this Valspar color um, and then I have painting supplies shower curtain rods let's get to it This is the color. I'm just doing the edging. My least favorite part. I hate edging. Makes it easier though, it's a little taped, but doing my cutting in here. Yes, I'm a lefty. Yay. Okay, so several hours later, finished the first coat of paint on the wall. Look at this big random space. I guess a medicine cabinet used to go here, but now we have like three mirrors that go here, here, and here. So I finished this um, coat. Oh, forgot to take some painter's tape down. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh oh. That's the good thing about painting on tile is honestly, if you get a little paint on it, you can scratch it off just like so. I gotta still take that off. Um, now this looks really bad here, so we're gonna have to paint that white. And we were lazy and didn't take the toilet off. But here's a little trick. If you put saran wrap around the top of the toilet, take the lid off, put it on the top, and on the back of the toilet, you can just stick a little roller brush behind it um, and don't get your toilet all painted. So there we go, the commode. It's looking good. And uh, yeah, I'll have to show you guys the final product when everything is all put in. How your brain isn't damaged from this. Ugh. Brain damage. <laughs> 